Every wildlife conservationist has his favourite animal, and mine is the badger. You're going in there for a second. Go on, be good. But back in the UK, all too often I'm called to deal with injured badgers who've become victims of collisions with cars. Oh, no. Today, I'm taking one with a seriously damaged leg along to a local vet's to see if anything can be done to save it. Young man, you are a star. How are you doing? One badger. One badger. Um, presumably RTA hit by a car because yeah. he's got a broken tib and fib. Yeah. Um, so that's only the main problem. You can see there's a bit of damage around the nose where he mm. obviously got dragged along the road yeah. when he had the um, accident. He's, just, he's, he's fed up and he's yeah. probably in pain too, yeah. to be honest. Veterinary surgeon Michael Hamilton needs to establish whether surgery is an option. So he checks that there's not been any significant nerve damage. It was certainly feeling in that foot yesterday. That's the one he's up. Yeah, you see I that? I just want to check that this it feels OK on that side. That's all right. Fortunately, the nerves seem intact, so an operation can go ahead. Excellent. I was just trying to find a similar case, and this, I think this is pretty close, actually. Michael has post-operative x-rays of a similar break he's treated in a dog's leg, and he thinks that by using the same technique, screwing a metal plate across the broken bone, he stands a good chance of being able to restore the badger's mobility. So that was post-op. Right. There's the fractures in there, look. Cool. It's all starting to knit together, and you can see there's a little callus starting to form so, on the fibula. Yeah. So, so that, yeah, together, I'll just knit back, yep, knit back together. Nice one, that's the plan, right? Excellent, OK. Good. So bring him through. Bring him through. You ready, guys? There we go, badger coming through. Michael's never attempted to screw a plate into the broken leg of a badger before, and if the badger is to survive, he can't afford to make any mistakes. Mike's got his work really cut out. This badger will be seen once by the vet. He can't come in to be checked out time and time again, so this operation's got to be 100%, and Mike's got to be absolutely certain that this badger can go back and survive in the wild. And back in Surrey, local vet Michael Hamilton is hoping that a unique operation on the broken leg of a badger will help to make sure that it too can be returned to the wild. I mean, the first question that we ask ourselves is just, can we put it back together again perfectly or not? And if, and if you can, it's worthwhile kind of mechanically trying to do so. The surgery is going well, but Michael has only one chance to get things right. Because once this badger's returned to the wild, there'll be no opportunity to check on its progress. Just keep that there, mate, so I can see the fracture. He's got his got stumpy little legs, hasn't he? He's going to use a very special metal plate that will bridge the broken bone and keep it permanently in place. Here's our locking plate. So this, this little fella is uh, kind of state-of-the-art. See the little holes? Uh, they're not just round holes. There's actually threads in there. And then the screws we're going to put in, will, will, they'll, they'll bite into the bone, but they also lock into the plate as well. And it's even scalloped underneath, so you disrupt less blood supply if you do sit here mm. on the bone. So, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a nice piece of kit. I'm just going to drill a hole in the bone first. Give me that. Uh, got another home in, Mike. Yeah, there's another one. Once the plate's firmly secured, it's like it was made for this badger. Yeah. Michael sets about closing up the wound. I mean, the satisfaction of being a, a surgeon must be oh, yeah. immense, oh, isn't oh, totally. it? Totally, totally. There's highs and lows, but, you know, the, the highs outweigh the lows for sure. So, you know, I, would never, like, I think if I won the lottery, I wouldn't give up work. Right. However, I would like to get out before 10 o'clock every night. But, you know, <laughs> there's one happy little badger in the world because of us and it feels good. Well, Mike's done an amazing suture job on this animal. There's no surface skin sutures at all because badger, wild animal, it's gonna to try to gnaw them out. We'd have to try to get the stitches out afterwards as well, but that is just an absolutely yeah. tremendous job. And if ever I need surgery, I'm coming here. There we are, done, nice. Let's get them x-rayed. <coughs> And the post-op x-rays look promising. Well, so, there's the one from the side. It looks all right. So you can see whether there's a fracture in there. Sure. Yeah. Looks quite straight. The plate looks massive, doesn't it, actually? Yeah, huge. Yeah, happy with that. 
Big chunk of expensive metal. <laughs> Love it. Over the next few days, back at the centre, his recovery from the operation was much better than we could ever have anticipated. How's my boy been doing? He's absolutely brilliant. He's using the leg. He's really comfortable. Is that his medicine in there? Yeah. I'm going to hide it in there because we don't want to keep injecting him for, like, a couple of weeks, so... Right, right little fella. Well, it's probably now six days after the off, aren't we? Yeah. And he's done so well. I know, it's, there's no bruising, he's using it straight away, he's so comfortable. The leg's not even swollen, is it, particularly? No, it's brilliant. Yeah, look at that. Look though. at that. Using that leg perfectly, isn't he? He's a good boy. If it wasn't bald, you wouldn't even know. No, he's done really well. Let's hope he doesn't know there's pills in there. Oh. <laughs> no, he's a bit nervous. We'll leave him quietly to eat it, shall we, I think? Yeah, come back and check he's eating it. He's looking really good. He's put on weight a bit as well. His coat looks much better conditioned, isn't it, too? And just a few weeks later, his bionic leg was as good as new, and he couldn't wait to return to the wild. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.